Today, I am an ESL teacher and I get to work with students from all around the world. We have 50 students that I service each and every day and of those 50 students, we have 23 languages represented. And I'm so happy to be able to provide a place and a space where they feel welcomed, they feel valued, they feel like they belong, they feel important and that someday they could be something amazing too. I am the daughter of immigrant parents. Coming from the bustling city of Chicago to the cornfields of us we go, it was such a culture shock to go from a place where we felt like we were part of the Hispanic community. We had the tiendita on the corner that we walked to. Everyone spoke our languages and then we came here and it was very isolating. We didn't have very many people that talked like us or looked like us. I wanted to be a part of something, to find my place in this big space. At Wabanzi, I explored a bunch of different career options. I thought maybe psychology, mass communications, early childhood development. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do when I fell in love with mass communications because I saw it as an opportunity to highlight the beauty and diversity, that it's beautiful to come from a different place, that other cultures and other people should be highlighted and shown in all their glory and valued. And all along the way, there were educators like Mr. Bitterman who took the time to make sure that I felt heard and seen and cared for and that my opinion mattered, that I was a valuable part of that group, of that team, it was really inspirational and something that kept me going. I didn't have a diverse staff until I went to Wabanzi. I never could see myself in that kind of role. And being in this role allows me to be that teacher that I really wish I would have had back then. Working with kids has taught me how everyone comes to class with different levels, different needs, challenges, and gifts. It has taught me that relationships come first and everything else comes second. That every child deserves to come to school to feel welcome and love. I think life is about finding what sinks to your heart and chasing after that dream and sharing your gift with the world is what's going to make it a beautiful place. My teacher dream persona is a mix of Mary Poppins and Miss Frizzle and Selena all mixed in one. I want that fun for learning, that love for inquiry. I want kids to come to school and just enjoy it so much so that they become lifelong learners and chase their dreams limitlessly. I'm most proud of the students I get to see out in the real world. I have students now that are adults doing adult things with jobs and careers and paths and dreams and being able to see them and, and that they remember me and that they talk about all the wonderful things that they're doing in life, that they're carrying on that dream of stepping into the unknown and taking on something new and challenging to see where the world takes you and believing in yourself, continuing that mantra that they are equally important, that they have something amazing to give to the world. That's probably what I'm most proud of.